Google has recently rolled out a server-side switch type of update to its Chrome web browser that changes the user interface of the most visited websites that are displayed whenever you view Chrome's Omnibox. This change doesn't seem to be tied to a specific version of Chrome right now. Some users are seeing this change already, so it indicates that it is a server-side switch type of update. And again, it's just changing the user interface of a feature that has already been implemented in Chrome. So as it is right now, whenever you tap on the address bar of the Chrome browser for Android, it opens up what is called the Omnibox page. And it's named this because it can actually do a lot of things. It's no longer just an address bar. You can type in a web address there. You can also perform a search, whether that's via text or audio. And we have access to our most visited websites. And this is how Chrome is displaying the most visited websites for most people. We see the favicon right there, the web address, and the ability to take that address and put it in the search bar for quick editing. But Google has seemed to want to change this. And instead of giving a list of our most visited websites, more prominently displaying the text and the name of that website. And the new change seems to be reducing this into a swipeable row of favicons. So if you've not seen it already, I have this phone already set up with this feature so that whenever we tap on the address bar or the Omnibox in Chrome for Android, you can see now we have a different type of list of our most visited websites. Instead of it being a list, again, it's done as a row. And instead of prominently displaying the text or the name, instead we're shown the favicon of that website. So we have YouTube, Play Store Sales, and Reddit that we can still tap and go into that website like normal. But you can see the row of icons is a lot different than the list of websites that we had before. Now remember, this is tied to what seems to be a server-side switch. So this has not been introduced due to just a specific version of Chrome. However, because of that, we are able to actually disable this if you want. So if, if you are not a fan of this new change to where your most visited websites or are displayed in a row like this, if you want, you can go to the Chrome flags page then do a search for Omnibox and if you search for a little bit you should see a Omnibox most visited tiles option now whether or not you are seeing this you are able to force this feature on or we can force this feature off. So if you remember here, we have this displayed in our row of icons right now. But if we take this Omnibox most visited tiles feature, set it to disabled, and then tap the relaunch button. Now, whenever we look at the Omnibox, we're back to the old list style instead of the icons. And this works the other way as well. So you can see here on the other phone I have, it's still set up with the list view. 
and I can just go to the Chrome Flags page. So if your application has not been updated with this new server-side switch, you can actually force this feature. Some people like the new look of the most visited tiles. So if you have not been given this option, then you should be able to force this feature by setting the Omnibox most visited tiles feature set to enabled. Again, we just tap the relaunch button right here. And now whenever we tap the address bar to go into the Omnibox page, we are given the icon row instead of the list like we were shown before. I am seeing some comments that say even though they have manually enabled the flag as I shown here, they're still not able to see this row of icons. But as you can see here, I'm able to do that and go back and forth on two different Xiaomi phones very easily.